Welcome back to Mark's Train Reviews. My name is Mark. Today we're taking a look at that. It is the double suspension bridge from Brio. All right, here it is. Brio 33683, the double suspension bridge. And a nice, long, big red bridge. That's kind of resembles uh, Golden Gate Bridge a little bit. Kind of a callback to that, maybe. You can see a Klingon Bird of Prey coming right under that. So, Star Trek IV reference, if you have no idea what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, this is the Brio double suspension bridge. Really nice. These are plastic, uh, but they're they're. Like you can squeeze them and stuff, but they're, it's it's sturdy, holds up the bridge well. Back here is the arched girder bridge from back in the 80s. And I did a review of that just prior to the review you're watching now. And in that review, I did mention I had a complaint with the double suspension bridge and that we would compare the two. And I will do that. But this is a gorgeous looking bridge. I will definitely give Brio props for that. One issue we talked about with the uh, girder bridge and I mean, this, this thing is from the early 1980s. But clearance can be an issue on some of the more modern Rio products. Uh, that is a non-issue here on the double suspension bridge. You have those nice tall openings and I don't really fault Brio for having modern products that don't quite clear that I mean this is a 40 year old thing it's not unreasonable to, to not be fully compatible with all Brio products from all decades so I don't uh, fault them for that although I did I, it did appear it would be okay and I had hoped it was kind of like Legos where the old ones just work perfectly with the new ones but it's the way it goes so this this thing is gorgeous. I mean, no doubt, no doubt about it. Generally, you can find it for about forty bucks, thirty nine ninety nine, something like that. Once in a while, you'll see it on sale, and you'll see it for you know thirty five or twenty nine if you're really lucky. But but that's forty bucks is about the going price for this thing, and it's uh it's a fun it's a fun looking thing. It's really nice. It, it's certainly could be the centerpiece of any any uh brio layout and and why not it's gorgeous i mean unless it's certainly one of the more uh you know like uh i don't know what's the word i'm looking for just just the, the certainly one of the more iconic pieces for for modern brio just like this guy was back in the day for for vintage brio um you know unless you have like the grand roundhouse or something this this is certainly going to make a statement on your, your Brio setup. However, I do have a rather significant complaint and let's, let's segue into that right now. One thing I praised the arched girder bridge for was how perfectly sized everything was. These doesn't matter if it's uh, modern Brio or vintage Brio, these longer pieces, they're all the same size. Um, they fit. They are exactly, the bridge is exactly five long pieces long. So if you're making a layout and you're making a nice oval or something like that, you won't have any problems. Everything will be symmetrical. Everything will line up. No big deal. Um, as you get more and more into model railroading, this becomes a uh, something that's really appreciated when you move to like HO or G scale or something like that. This is something that's even more appreciated when everything just works and you don't have to cut any track to size or anything like that. Now, Brio's design flaw with the uh, double suspension bridge, if you haven't already guessed, let's take a look. Yeah, Brio, come on, guys. Really? Really? So, if you're building a layout and 
you know, you're going to have some weird amount of track. Like you can't just use five straight pieces on the other end to, to compensate for the bridge because the bridge isn't five straight pieces long. It isn't the same length as like the other bridge, which was exactly five straight pieces long. It's not, it's not like I can just substitute with one of these with one shorter piece and it would magically, no, or one little bit longer piece, no. It, 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 <laughs> they, unless you want to go buy out and buy some, some special pieces, and we'll get to that in a second, it, it's, it's going to be difficult to use on your layout. That's infuriating. Brio, come on, do better. What were you thinking? Here's the culprit. This is, this is the problem. It's right here in the center. Let's move this a little, little closer, a little more in the shot. All right, it's right here in the center. So when I feel like Brio's were, Brio's in the past maybe were better designed. So they, they added this little straight piece, but why? Well, because these won't fit together without it. I think that's uh, just a design flaw, pure and simple. If it wasn't for this, this bridge would be exactly five straight, five long straight pieces long. It would line up perfectly with this vintage bridge. Modern or vintage track, it would line up perfectly, but no, somebody apparently had an oversight and they had to add this because they basically just designed it wrong. That's, that's how I see it. Maybe there's another explanation, um, but Brio, shame on you. So you use this to separate the, the two supports because they can't butt up against each other. Okay, well, that's fine and good until you, you go to complete your, your oval or track, your layout, uh, then things don't line up well. Earlier, I had a nice oval of track, and while I did get the pieces to connect, one side was just, this, you know, the piece, it was too snug, and it, it clearly wasn't, wasn't completely straight. And especially with these battery Brios, uh, it was just prone to derailing. Not every time, but most of the time, it was, it was derailing. And that's just infuriating. Now, the simple fix for this Brio would have been to just include another piece like this which I don't imagine is very expensive. It's just a little like two inch piece of track. They should have included an extra piece of this so that when you, you know, you're, let's say you're making an oval or whatever, right? Come on, come apart. You can just add this and you got that center. Let's imagine that was still there. It would all line up perfectly. Problem solved. I, I don't know why no one thought to to do that. Um, yeah, just, just, just bad, bad Brio. I, I think the bridge is gorgeous. It's sturdy, I, I, it looks nice. Um, I, you know, I, I wouldn't have a complaint except that this odd length that they made it that isn't compatible with anything else unless you have happen to have a short piece like that in your set or you want to go out and buy an expansion set that has that piece unless you want to go through that added aggravation time and expense this bridge isn't really useful and that that's very 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 annoying i mean i'm i'm in my 40s uh it's not a big deal to go out but but yeah if i was a little kid i opened this for for on christmas morning and then i couldn't like put my my set together in a, a cool way that lined up and i was this much track short of, of making it all work how aggravating would that be so mom dad if you're watching this or grandma grandpa whoever whoever the little brio lover is in your life um you know you're gonna want they do sell i think little two packs of these um, you're going to want to order those, uh, or if you get one of the expansion track sets, they'll, they'll have um, a couple pieces like that in them that will uh, compensate for this. And it's just, uh, it's a shame this just wasn't more well thought out. I mean, Swedish toys, I mean, be it Legos or, or Brio, or uh, it, they're usually so well designed and thought out. I don't know what happened here. I mean, I don't want to 
you know, I don't want to be like, well, this is what happens when you make things in China. This isn't a, a Chinese manufacturing problem. And sadly, Brio is now built in China. My, my vintage stuff is built in Sweden. Uh, Brio is still a Swedish company. Um, I, I think its parent company is German, but Bri Brio is still based in Sweden. Um, but yeah, the, the products are manufactured in China. And that, that, while that's a whole subject for a different time, um, you know, it, it, that's not the problem here. This is a design issue. And I, I just, uh, maybe some of the, maybe these normally come with an extra one of these, but my set didn't have it. And I, I don't believe that they do. So that's just, um, that's just frustrating as all get out. So gorgeous bridge, looks nice, will look nice on your layout, but you got to go buy something extra to make it work correctly on your layout. So that's my, that's my review of the Brio double suspension bridge.